Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Thursday series. My name is Eddie Skrava. I'm the lead penetration tester at SmartTech and I'll be showing you some interesting and technically advanced cyber attacks. I reveal the consequences of being compromised by such attacks. As we continue our security journey with Stark Industries, we will focus on the area which is middle step between external remote attacks and an insider job. It is the wireless network. Wireless mobile devices have become integral part of our business and personal life, and the boundaries between personal and business life are slowly disappearing. Most of us don't use separate smartphones for home and business purpose. We take work laptops home, we travel a lot and we get pretty used to having wireless internet access in every place on earth. Airport, hotspot, hotel wi and home networks which are definitely not as secure as your office network, or as secure as it should be. You'll never know who or what lies inside the work with you. And even worse, you may never be sure whose network you're using. There are multiple tools for hacking wireless network in the hacker's arsenal. Here I'm just presenting some of them, like portable mini computer, hacker phones, advanced wireless cards and long range antennas. Those last can even make it possible to perform attack from miles away. As I mentioned earlier, the tools are numerous but there are two main approaches for hacking wireless network. Either you can hack the wireless access point or its clients. Let's look at a few scenarios. You can hack the access point directly due to its poor security. The biggest problem is the Wi-Fi protected setup technology. This is the small button on the device which allows connecting without entering any passwords. Some of the oldest devices may be hacked offline through the so-called WPS pixie dust attack and it just takes minutes to crack. I'm just showing the screenshots of the attack and refer to the list of possible vulnerable devices. Make sure you don't have any of those. The WPS may also be brute forced. Some of the devices use locking and time delay between failed attempts, but in the end it just takes time for the WPS to be hacked. There are also default passwords generated by vendors. Most of the users that feel pretty well with computers will probably change those, but believe me that many will leave them as they are trusting that their complexity makes them safe. Unfortunately, there are situations where those passwords can be calculated based on the wireless network name. The second approach is to get inside the network by hacking the Wi-Fi clients. The first technique is to crack the Wi-Fi password. To do this, we will have to intercept the so-called handshake between the wireless client and the access point. If the client is connected, we can send him the authenticate packets, which will force him to reconnect. The capture secret is actually a hash, so we still have to crack it. This is a standard cracking process, so the situation is simple here. If the password is weak or some dictionary string, it can be cracked fast. 
If it's a long combination of letters, digits and special characters, the cracking will get harder. But it all comes to proper cost and income calculation. Today's cloud instances can perform multiple password checks per second and at the per minute cost of computing it may be really cheap to crack those passwords. One of the most advanced attacks is the evil twin attack. These attacks rely on creating an evil twin network so your device may connect to the malicious router instead of the real one. Even worse, a recent discovery in the wireless field shows that hackers may uncover what wireless network your device are trying to connect to and emulate those in the completely different places. Like you can have an airport or hotel Wi-Fi near your home. Now that we planted our Wi-Fi Evil Twin, we simply wait for our victim to get caught. Once we capture our victim, we can do various things from the man in the middle arsenal. We can plant malware on the client mobile that will spread as soon as he gets connected to the real office network. We could also intercept the password from website or we just can perform some trolling for fun. There are many ways to mitigate the risk of being hacked through wireless network. Some of the most effective are the CM solutions and continuous monitoring of wireless network. Strong password, proper device configuration and security policies for personal devices in the foundation of what needs to be in place. If you need assistance monitoring your network, contact our security operation center. We can also help you to perform penetration testing of your wireless network to evaluate the risks.